Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Interview with opera singer Vahram Tadevosyan. On December 9, 1948, the UN adopted a convention on the prevention and punishment of the crime of genocide. Lasting peace possible only through recognition of Artsakh's self-determination, Ara Ayvazyan, UN's concerned over Turkey's role in recent Artsakh war. Russian military doctors have set up new medical center in a number of settlements in Artsakh. U.S. House of Representatives approved tightening of sanctions against Turkish Stream and Northern Stream pipelines. The 4,000-year-old Gürin Cave of Western Armenia needs attention. In a conversation with Western Armenia TV, the famous opera singer Vahram Tadevosyan or Vanno Tadeo presented details of his visit to Artsakh with Republic of Western Armenia President Armena Kabramian, within the framework of which they met with the National Assembly Speaker of Artsakh and visited several settlements. He spoke about the problems and concerns of Armenians living in Artsakh, as well as his performance in Ganzasar Church. The interview is available on our official YouTube channel. The Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide was adopted in 1948. It entered into force in January 1951 by the General Assembly of the United Nations. It is the legal definition of genocide, the focal point of long-running campaign by lawyer Rafael Lemkin, who coined the term genocide based on the genocide against Armenians. All participating countries were advised to prevent and punish acts of genocide in war-torn and peaceful situations. The number of states that have ratified the convention is currently 137. Armenian Foreign Minister Arai Vazian has underscored that Artsakh's right to self-determination has been one of the pillars of the negotiation process and the right to self-determination cannot be withdrawn from the agenda through military force. Launching military aggression against Artsakh's self-determination, Azerbaijan and Turkey violated their international obligations, while Azerbaijan also violated its obligations in the peaceful negotiation process. Since September 27 until now, a new turning point happened among the international community because the international community understood that the Artsakh issue isn't simply a territorial dispute. And in all parts of Artsakh that went under Azerbaijani control, ethnic cleansings and war crimes took place, which once again proves the necessity to address the recognition of Artsakh's right to self-determination, Ivazian said during a joint press briefing with French Foreign Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian in Paris. He added that only in this case lasting and fair peace can be achieved and only then one can think about peace and new era in the South Caucasus. Acting Assistant Secretary of State in the U.S. Bureau on European and Eurasian Affairs Philip Ricker said on Tuesday that the United States is extremely concerned over the role that Turkey played in the recent hostilities in Artsakh test reports. We have many questions regarding Turkey's role there. We are extremely concerned and have expressed this concern during discussions on Turkey's role, the transfer of foreign fighter jets and the delivery of weapons. These are troubling issues and remain a part of our dialogues with Turkey and Russia, Ricker said during a briefing of members of the Commission of security and cooperation in Europe adjunct to the U.S. Congress. Russian military doctors have deployed additional primary health care centers in Artsakh, the Russian Ministry of Defense reports. To provide primary health care, military doctors have deployed additional medical centers in the settlements of Stepanakert, Khojalu, and the observation post of Russian peacekeeping forces in the Lachin Corridor, the military department said. The additional medical centers are equipped with modern medical equipment and have the ability to conduct examination and primary diagnostics of patients on the spot. According to the ministry, during the day, Russian military doctors of Special Purpose Medical Unit provided assistance to almost 4 dozen patients, including 5 children. More than 60 medical specialists work in Artsakh. The U.S. House of Representatives on October 29 approved a package of sanctions against the Turkey and its financial sector in connection with the military operations in northeastern Syria and the purchase of S-400 Russian anti-aircraft missile systems. The vote was broadcast on the website of the lower house of the U.S. legislature, Armand Press reports. The initiative is called PACT Act, Protect Against Conflict by Turkey Act. It obliges U.S. President Donald Trump to impose restrictions on those complicit in the military operations in Syria, in particular against the Minister of National Defense Hulusi Akar. In addition, according to the document, the Washington administration is obliged to impose restrictions on the purchase of S-400 systems by Ankara under the law of Katsa. The bill is now being sent to the upper house of the U.S. legislature. The Turkish foreign ministry has condemned the decision of the U.S. House of Representatives.
The 4,000-year-old caves included in Western Armenia are thought to be older than sources state. The caves which people used as shelters about 4,000 years ago consist of five floors and dozens of rooms. As no scientific research has been done, it is not known exactly who created these dwellings. It is not known how people once lived in these apartments created from the cave, how they entered and left. Now let us represent your attention a song by Akung. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.